This Ag Business Update brought to you by American Implement, indebted to the past, committed to the future. In a moment, Ag News. Would you like to see something done about high gas prices and low unemployment? Western Place Energy in Campus, Kansas is doing something about it. They're a proud part of Growth Energy, America's ethanol supporters, and they employ 38 people and will be adding more following the expansion. Ethanol fuel not only reduces the cost of regular gasoline, it's good for the environment and keeps money right here in the United States while supporting local rural jobs. Western Plains Energy, doing something for the future. When you've had a best friend for over 50 years, you develop a trust. And the Scott Co-op has been a trusted rural friend since 1957. A co-op keeps money in the area, doing business for and with their members. And that helps keep their hometown thriving with keeping money in the community. Scott Co-op is not just an elevator. It's the rural way of doing business. So when you see an elevator, remember your friends at Scott Co-op. In agriculture news, crop production up while soybean and cotton production is down for 2022. That according to the latest USDA crop production report that was issued. Crop production up 10% from last year, forecast 15.1 billion bushels. Soybean growers expected to decrease their production 3% from 2022, forecast now at 4.15 billion bushels. And cotton production down 9% from 2022, 13.1 million 480 pound bales. Planted and harvested acreage estimates for corn, cotton, and soybeans also reviewed based on all available data, including the latest certified acreage data from the Farm Service Agency. As that result, area planted for corn is estimated to be at 94.9 million acres, up one point for the previous estimate. Area planted to soybeans estimated 83.6 million acres, up slightly. And the area planted for cotton estimated 10.2 million acres, down 8% for the previous estimate. USDA surveyed more than 7,000 producers around the country and conducted some objective yield surveys for the report collection. More in a moment. SNS Trailer Sales with two locations in Ness City, Kansas, is where everybody goes to buy or rent trailers. They feature the all new, all aluminum Mauer grain trailer with all of the electric options, the easy to load detached trailers, and a huge stock of header trailers. At the west location, you'll find bumper poles, goosenecks, and oil field specialty trailers, along with flat and utility beds for pickups. SNS Trailer Sales in Ness City and on the web, but remember, you do have to spell out the end. Wolfter Construction and Irrigation has been around a long time and a lot of folks have trusted them to design, build and service all sizes of commercial and on-farm storage for grain and equipment. Wolfter is also known for their outstanding irrigation division where they stock a complete selection of nozzles, regulators, drops, gear drives, electrical and structure components. Looking for an electric motor? Wolfter has a large selection in single and three phase. Next time, reach out to the pros who have decades of experience at taking care of business the right way. Wolfter Construction and Irrigation. Well, the U.S. Department of Agriculture awarding nearly $1 million to K-State for a program to lead research and innovation in sorghum production, boosting a crop that's grown more in Kansas than anywhere else in the U.S. Sarah Sexton Bowser is director for Center Improvement uh, for Sorghum at K-State. She said the award allows the university to build a network of public and private groups aiming to ease a bottleneck in sorghum technology and develop even better traits for the future. As we said, Kansas ranks number one in production of grain sorghum. In most years, Kansas farmers grow more than 200 million bushels of the crop, or nearly half of all U.S. grain sorghum in production. In dollars, uh, production tops $1.8 billion, including more than $869 million in exports. With this USDA award, K-State will continue the work, according to Sexton Bowser, and some of the early collaborations in this program include the United Sorghum Checkoff and the Kansas Grain Sorghum Commission, as well as private seed companies like Innovative Seed Solutions and Corteva AgriScience. You can find out more information on the grants and partnerships working to improve grain sorghum production online at the Center for Sorghum Improvement there at K-State. And Dr. Barry Flinchball will be induced into the uh, National Ag Hall of Fame during a ceremony come up early October. That'll be at the National Ag Center in Bonner Springs near Kansas City. The Hall of Fame honors individuals who have made outstanding national or international contributions to the establishment, development, advancement, or improvement of American agriculture. Flinchbaugh, a leading expert in U.S. on ag economics and policy for more than four decades, 
He's the top advisor to politicians on both major parties, including the Secretary of Agriculture and chairs of both the House and the Senate Ag Committees. Numerous senators and state governors as well sought him out. Flinchball was involved in some degree in every U.S. Farm Bill written since 1968, and from 1970 till his passing in 2020, he taught Ag Policy 400, covering ag trade marketing and politics there at K-State. More information on the ceremony at aghalloffame.com. More coming up in a moment. The cost of everything has gone up dramatically over the last 75 years. With one exception, keeping electricity affordable. Wheatland Electric, delivering energy for life, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. KBUF Radio has ag information for you weekdays beginning at 6 with Tony St. James and Agriculture Today, then 7 11. It's the KBUF Morning Show. We have interviews with newsmakers, lots of discussion of the markets, weather, and ag information, all to make you and help you make good decisions on the farm and ranch. You can follow along on our social media pages or listen to KBUF or any Western Kansas uh, broadcast station online, westernkansasnews.com. I'm Ken Rogers. Thanks for watching.